Hi, welcome to OnlineBoutiqueSource.com, a guide for starting your own online store. Today, we're going to talk about the three tools you need to get a WordPress store. There are a lot of options out there for online e-commerce platforms, and if you look at our comparison chart on the site, you'll see the different types of solutions that are available. One of the ones that we highly recommend is working with WordPress. WordPress is a software that you can use to set up your site on your own hosting and build a store on using this platform. A lot of the tools are free or very, very cheap. And if you don't have the, if, it's a great way to get started if you want to get something up and running and start selling and use that to raise money to later on get a, a site custom built or work with the designer. So we're going to go over to the screen and I'm going to show you these, the three tools that you need to get your store up and running in less than a day. Okay, so we're going to talk about the three simple tools you need to put together a quick and easy online store right in WordPress. Of course, as you grow and get more capital, you may want to get a custom design and go something full on out. But when you're just starting out or if you just want to get something out there and start getting your products on board, this is something that you don't have to go to some place like Etsy or um, Big Cartel or one of those prefab things that looks like everyone else and you're in a marketplace for everyone else's products. You can have your own store in your own room to grow. The other great thing about being having a WordPress store is that whatever products you put in now, if you decide later on, further down the line, now I want to get a new look, I'm going to get something custom made and professionally done, they can use all the same data that's right there. Your products already be set up, your everything, will, your orders will still be there. Everything will be set up and you don't have to redo everything again from scratch like you would if you're moving from Big Tur Cartel and then going to WordPress or from ET to Big Cartel. Each time you have to redo everything. So let's get started. Here you'll see I set up a very quick and simple test store that we're going to be playing around with in this video and you'll probably see it in a couple of other videos. It's our online boutique test store. It's not anywhere online so you can't find it. It's here in the test environment. But this is what we're going to. I'm going to show you the three simple things that you need to build something like this or very similar. Um, and you can really get this up in less than a day and most of the time is going to be spent loading your products and setting up your store, not gathering these tools. So the first thing you need is reliable web hosting. If you read my article on web hosting, which I'll put the link below in the show notes, you'll know that you know there are different types of hosts. There's Dot .5, which I just brought up, Motion Hosting, WP Engine, there's a bunch of different hosting companies. Most of them are great. If you look at our resources, we have a list of ones that I highly recommend. The only one I don't recommend is GoDaddy, and I also don't recommend ones like Yahoo or anything that's going to try to charge you like $20 a month or $30 a month unless you're doing something like WP Engine, which is a dedicated WordPress hosting. But for this, if you're okay with updating your own WordPress, you can do something like a dot five. So. That five you see right now they're doing a, a nice promotion for five ninety five, and they offer they offer a lot of great things. Even if you're not using WordPress, that's another good thing is that they're easy to expand. They have an unlimited package, which you definitely will need unlimited space and unlimited bandwidth when you're doing an online store because you don't want to be stuck with the number of products. I have a product of client who has over 700 products in her store and running just fine on regular hosting using WordPress. So you don't want to run into those issues. So any hosting that you get is, and they all look a little bit different, so this is just one that I have, but most of them give you just a one-step install to install WordPress. They come with WordPress. WordPress is free software, so as long as you have the hosting, you should be able to install. You'll go in there, you'll either see, like that one just had WordPress, thing, press. some of them say like Soft Delicious and have some other names for them, and you'll be able just to download it right then there from your hosting. The second thing that you'll need, and these two kind of go hand in hand, so you want to look at them together. 
The second thing you'll need is what they call an e-commerce plugin. There's a couple of really popular ones. I just brought up the WooCommerce, which is one that I like a lot. If you go to WooThemes slash WooCommerce, you can read a lot about that. There's another really popular one here that I've used called Jigo Shop that I like. There's WP eCommerce, MarketPress. There are a couple of really good ones. Most of them, like Woo WooCommerce, Jiggle Shop, WP eCommerce, are all free. So I know you're thinking, wow, we're getting a lot for free. So they're all initially free. You can install them once you get into your WordPress, and I'll show you that in a moment. And the way they do make their money, if they're going to make money, it's not a requirement, is they sell extensions. Something like enhanced shipping or subscriptions, UP, USPS shipping methods already built into your site. So they just have some things that make it a little bit fancy, but none of these are by any means required. It's just if if there's functionality that you don't that you looking for that you don't see in the WooCommerce install, check out the extensions because that's probably there and those will be paid for. But the software itself is free. Same thing, like I said, with Jigo Shop. Same thing with WP Commerce. They all go on the same premise. And the other thing you'll need is an e-commerce theme. So a theme, if you're not familiar with WordPress already, gives your site the look and the feel of what's it going to do, and it also gives the functionality. So an e-commerce theme will allow you to run e-commerce plugins. Now you can run an e-commerce plugin on any theme, but these themes are specially created that they tie in. So they offer you all the functionality that the e-commerce would. They allow for the shop pages and they have everything already set up. So if you're just starting out and you don't know WordPress and you don't know programming or you don't know all of these things, the best thing to do is to get what they call an e-commerce theme. There are a lot of different places that sell e-commerce themes. I brought up two of my favorites. One is called Color Labs, and that link will be down in the show notes. You'll actually see, if you look here at our test store, our test store is running the Color Labs Opulence theme. So I purposely set it up with a theme that was something you could just easily go and buy and doesn't require a designer or extra coding or any of that other good stuff. So you can get something from a place like here. Or another good place is Theme Forest. Theme Forest is a marketplace where a bunch of individual developers have, devel have developed their themes and put them up online for us to review and look at and buy. The good thing about um, theme forest is of course the selection there are currently 142 themes to choose from so you can really go through and look at a bunch of different things and get something it's not going to be super unique but it's going to be unique and a lot of them if you scroll over you can kind of see the screenshot usually and a lot of them give you at least some customization so you can change the color you can change some certain, certain things you have to read the description to really see what can and cannot be changed but you can see like this four five six market to me is a pretty nice looking store and if you're just getting started for fifty five dollars that's not a bad price and you will spend a little bit of time reading through the documentation setting it up and you'll have a really nice store now where this ties into needing to know what plugin you're going to use so back to our WooCommerce and Jiggle Shop plugins is Different themes are built and customized to go with different plugins. See, if you go down by e-commerce and you see the, the sub-menus, they have some of the major ones. And you can see WooCommerce is very popular. They've got 103 out of 142 themes that work with WooCommerce. Now, a theme can work with more than one plugin. So you'll see they'll give you the options. This one gives you the option to work with WP e-commerce. Jiggle Shop and WooCommerce. So you're not just stuck with one. If you're not even sure what plugin you're going to use just yet, you can kind of switch back and forth and play and see what's, what's the best one for your shop. If you're here on Theme Forest, you just want to make sure whichever one you choose, and they, they're the same thing. They have multiples that they'll they'll work with, and they'll tell you right here here what, what they work with, and some of them will tell you within this information here what it works with so you just want to look around a little bit and it'll tell you what 
it'll work with. A lot of them are WooCommerce because WooCommerce is very popular. But as you can see, putting these things together, it's, it's pretty simple. So I hope this helped you with just the three easy tools that you need, hosting, theme, and e-commerce plugin to get your store up and running on WordPress in less than a day. Good luck with your new store.